What's up guys, it's your girl Jay here and I am back with another video and if you can tell by the title down below, it is a full day wear test and review of the Full Spectrum Matte Ambition Foundation. This foundation is very low key, unheard of. Not a lot, I don't see a lot of people talking about this, especially influencers, especially the larger influencers of color. I don't see them talk about this um, because it is so low key and uh, cover girl. And it, it is by cover girl, cover girl. What's going on? Why aren't we promoting this hard body? We need to be promoting this hard body like everything else so i wanted to try it out i really don't like buying foundations online because it's really hard to find your true color but i wanted to try this out so badly it is called full the the brand is called full spectrum but it's under the covergirl moniker and i got the color tan golden and i want to try it out so badly i also got the concealer two as my highlighter this is the full spectrum covergirl all day idol brightening concealer and this is in the color it doesn't even say on it i think it'll say it on the packaging which the packaging i got this at ulta and this is in the color medium tan golden so i'm going to show you the concealer right here and that will be right there that will be my under eye concealer which i think it looks good so if you want to see your girl wear this as it is 1101 i'm going to wear this all day i'm even going to go outside in the freezing elements i will do a wear test because today is pokemon go community day so i'm going to walk around the park a couple of times and catch totodile and yeah and then i'm also going to record another video so if you want to see me wear this foundation and give you everything from the ruta to the tuta then keep on watching all right, now first I'm just going to prime my face. Prime my face with the Pure 401 Correcting Primer. Because this is matte and everybody knows I love being matte, I'm a matte person. I am matte all the way. This smells, I didn't realize how good this smells. I love matte foundations. I don't like looking dewy because I am a, a sweat grease ball. So yeah, anything that has the word matte in it, I am for it. All right, now we're gonna shake it up and oh it has a lock on it so it won't be easy to pump because it you twist the cap you see you twist the cap like that so you twist the cap originally it's locked twist the cap and it's not locked got a couple of squirts squirts right there beauty blender now let's get the bouncing right now i could tell it's I know I said I hate choosing foundations online but for some reason i i do well picking out color so that was only two squirts and that was only the bottom half of my face. I have a large face, so I'm gonna need more than two squirts for this, so yeah. But I could already tell that it is medium to full coverage. This is something that you would have to build up. I gotta look online to see how many shades there are and this is a brand specific, in this full spectrum is for people of color it has a normal a normal smell this is why i don't like blenders <laughs> it takes forever all right it is fully on i did a couple of layers out of the three extra pumps on my hand i have only just a little bit left so it is a buildable foundation you have to build it up i don't remember all in one shine free it doesn't say but i do like the way it feels on my skin i really do i i still see my acne scarring right here in the mirror and i i did a and again as much as i say i hate buying foundation online i do end up getting the color right majority of the time so with with that being said, I'm trying to spectrum. It's a buildable coverage. I do say that. And I did pick out a really good color. It's full spectrum matte ambition all day foundation. It it just says put your best face forward with matte ambition all day matte form foundation from covergirl matte foundation helps you build a smooth base for all your looks now 
from the website. One, two, three, four, five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. There's twenty shades, and I don't know if it's sold online because I'm pressing every color, and it says everything is out of stock. That's golden. And what number did I? What number is this? This is FS three twenty five. FS, where are you at? I don't even see my shade on the website but there are no reviews for this and it's cruel it's cruelty free so that's a good thing but there I don't even see my shade on the website so but it says everything is out of stock designed to bring out your trusted tone matte ambition all day foundation is transfer resistant provides all day comfort with oil absorbing powders for a neutral matte foundation finish so it's supposed to be neutral so I get that, hence why I still see my acne scarring, my acne scarring on my face. So there's not much else on this site to suggest anything else. Yeah, there's nothing else. It's, it doesn't say much. Let me see if there's more on the Ulta website because that's where I got it from. So let me type in full spectrum and that comes up and you can only get it online the the foundation you can only get the foundation online <sighs> yeah there's 20 colors what else do they say the same thing that's on the website nothing nothing different only you can only okay I'm just looking at the review for the concealer and the concealer is a one star so let me put on the concealer and let's see why that is one star and it smells, it smells different. And you could tell just by, that is very, that is, this seems like a concealer I'm gonna have to build up. This concealer, full spectrum, not full coverage. And your girl is tired. I can tell by looking at it that this is not a full coverage concealer, just by feeling it. And I do feel a little tingly underneath my eyes, just a little bit. So I'm gonna take my sponge and I'm going to blend this out because I don't want to last have it last too long underneath my eyes this concealer is not full coverage and I don't want to look too cakey so I'm just going to put on what I put on and that is it yeah that's this is the coverage of that ah the concealer yeah it's eh, eh. The concealer is okay. It's not like the full coverage. It is not shape tape. It's not it's not the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. It's a concealer. It gives you something, but it doesn't give you the most of the world. So yeah, that's everything that I have for the full spectrum line. There was supposed to be, there's supposed to be eyeshadow. That's not out yet, I believe. Maybe by the time I, when I finish editing and everything, maybe it'll be online, I'm not sure. But the fact that it's sold at Ulta, but only online is something kind of weird. But yeah, I'm going to finish the rest of my face. I will come back and show you the finished product and I will take you on my day of me doing a lot of nothing and I will be wearing this for I didn't even set my face and it already feels it feels it, my face feels set I don't feel like I have to put on tons of powder which is a good thing I really do from afar from afar I like it up close yeah I can use a little bit more I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little bit more I'm gonna put a little bit more concealer on this one because I do see I don't have I don't have dark circles, but it doesn't hurt to, you know, try to cover them up. But then once again, it's not, I didn't see that the, I don't see the coverage scale on this. So the foundation is a natural finish, which is like medium to light, I think. And the concealer is definitely light coverage. It's definitely light coverage. The concealer, I can tell you right now, is definitely like coverage because I can still see some dark I can still see some dark hues on my under eyes I don't know if you can tell but I can tell so I'm gonna finish the rest of my face and I will be right back to continue this wear day test all right guys and this is the final face I it took me a little minute because I wanted to do something simple with the eyes and because I messed up on the mascara it touched the face so I had to add a little bit more extra but what I use for my 
eyeshadow is the Af Creek Af Afreek by Juvia's Place. This palette right here, and I used only two colors. I used. I'm gonna try to do it in a nice way. There we go. I used this golden color right here. I used Kofi on my lid, and then I used Bentu on my crease and my lower lash line. For the contour, simple, you know me if you've been watching my videos for a while. Black Radiance True Complex, um, True Complex Contour Palette. I used that for my contour, for the highlights, and for to bring color back to underneath my eyes, which this Black Radiance is drugstore. If this foundation was sold in, in Ulta, actual Ulta, I think this would probably this would definitely be on the drugstore side in the CoverGirl section. I'm gonna have to wear this for the rest of the day. It is now 11:41. <laughs> it doesn't take me that long if I do a quick beat. I could already tell you that my skin feels matte. It, it my my skin actually feels matte, and my skin probably looks matte, but um. For setting spray, I did the Kula Makeup Setting Spray. It is a SPF 30. Even though you're black, you still need your SPF. Remember that, people. But this is like the second or third time I'm using this, and there's no sun, but still get your SPF in. This is makeup setting spray, but because I still, this wasn't hydrating enough, so I had to, I don't have a actual setting spray. I had to break out the mini sample of the Too Faced Hangover RX Prime Set and Refresh Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. This one, right here because it came out so many different ways I had to make sure I pat in the droplets so it wouldn't be completely like all over my face but even after I sprayed my face with that it still feels my skin still feels a little tight it still does so I'm going to go on about the rest of my day with my glasses, which I can't wait till I get my new glasses so I could wear them and not have a glare, but this is good right now. I'm going to go on about the rest of my day. Let's see how this foundation and this concealer holds up with my sweaty ass and especially because it's freezing outside and I sweat more when I'm cold. So let's get this day rolling. All right guys, it is uh, this lighting. Natural lighting is kind of good, but not great for videos, so. But it's been 11, two hours since I put on the full spectrum foundation. So I changed light bulbs, I cleaned the dog, whatever. It's been two hours since I've been wearing this matte ambition foundation and my face still feels matte, my nose, is getting on the oily side. Can you, I, I never claimed to have perfect, like smooth a skin, cause I never have. I do have large pores, but I like the way this foundation is holding up. I don't like the dryness so, though, but it's, it's that's, that's what happens with matte, but I'm not a dewy girl, so. Yeah, it's holding up. I did get a nice, match so i'm just getting preparing myself for cold because it is community community day today yeah i got the sweatshirt on this cougars go cougars no i'm just kidding we don't do that but um it's cold it's gonna be cold outside okay like this lip gloss focus thank you <laughs> like this lip gloss guys it is the lip bar i got this at imats last year and this is in the color Miss Independent, the lip bar, black owned, love it. But it'll be in the description bar down beside. So that is just a two hour check-in. My mom says she liked the makeup, so. Eyebrows, I still can't, they, they will never be 100% even, so two hour check-in. Check-in, check-in. All right, I just don't wanna get up. I don't wanna do nothing, nothing. All right. All right guys, this is our uh, 11, 12, it's three now, 11, 12, one, two, hour four of the full spectrum matte foundation. And it like, seriously, guys, it looks really good outside. My face looks flat, fat because I'm probably bloated, but I'm outside with the doggy. Manny, Manny, say hi. Shut up, Stefan. <laughs> that's my brother. What's up? 
and I mostly cosplay. I'll put his information down below, but this is our fourth check-in of as long as I can weather this foundation. It's, I haven't touched up at all, and I don't feel like I'm getting oily and on my nose like I usually do with foundation because of my glasses. The only problem I'm having is that it is matte. It is completely matte, but I love my, oh, there we go. There, the light is better this way. But you can see it's holding up. No, no touch-ups. I only touched up the lip gloss from the lip bar, so we are going to walk, we are going to play Pokemon Go, and then we are going to go home because it is freezing, but at least we know in the elements it looks in the natural lighting it looks really good like super super good what do you think brother what do you think she's lit yo <laughs> all right so i'll see you in a couple of i'll do one more check-in and then i'll think i want to record one more video because i do want to record a fenty face i got two new fenty products that came out so it's lit yo <laughs> what up guys last check-in for the day i almost forgot that i gotta take this stuff off i wanted to flexa flexa um i wanted to do a final check-in of this foundation this foundation is actually i like it it's what time is it it's 11 07. <laughs> i had this makeup on for a whole 12 hours yeah it's 11 07 p.m. and I started this whole thing at like 11 a.m. so final thoughts the foundation I like it it's it feels before you even set it with powder it feels like you don't even have to set it with powder and that's what I like the cons of the concealer though it's not full coverage so you won't get the coverage that you necessarily need and or want um, if you want natural looking makeup, that concealer is for you. It's perfectly light and it's not heavy or cakey. So if you like that type of concealer, that's good. But if you have a problem with darkness underneath your eyes, that's not the concealer for you. Um, if you want a concealer that will cover, that's not the concealer for you because that concealer is light coverage. So the foundation, I love it. Five stars. Get it. I recommend it for all my melanin infused men and women out there. The concealer, not so much if you want to cover your secrets underneath your eyes. So, yeah, the fact that it is natural, um, it wore really well. Besides, I have my glasses here. I, I didn't touch up at all. I really didn't. I didn't do not one touch up. I che kept checking my nose to see if it was oily. And a little oil seeped through, but not the usual tons of oil like it usually do with other makeup, with other foundations. So I really do like this foundation. And we all know I paid for the makeup myself, so this is completely honest. Everything from the Ruta to the Tuda. I like the fact that it stayed matte my skin stayed matte yes one downside of the foundation even though i do love it i do i do i do it was a little matte it was a little too bad if that's well no there's no such thing as too matte but if you have dry skin this foundation is not for you if you have oily to combo skin or oily skin in general this is for you if you want the foundation to stay if you had dry skin this foundation is not for you because it is matte it leaves a powdery finish a nice smooth finish um just use the right just use whatever primer you want and it will get it done. So yeah, let me close up as you can hear my stomach. I, I look I look tired, I know. <laughs> yeah, that's my skin. I look way worse in this camera than I do in this mirror. But cameras always bring out the worst and yeah, it does. But this is my skin. You can see where my glasses were at right there. So, and then yeah, I look tired. But that is my skin. That is my final final check-in for full spectrum, the full spectrum um foundation. 
I like it. I recommend it for all you guys out there. You can only get it from what I could, from what I can get at Ulta.com. You can't get it in the stores yet. So just please think really hard about your foundation shade because it's only 20, but this is for people of color. So yeah, that is it guys. I'm gonna leave all that right there. If you already done so, please hit that subscribe button. It is right over there. Make sure you hit the little bell icon so you get notified when your girl upload videos. And make sure to thumbs up this video because you want to see more videos from your girl. And like always, guys, be blessed, be safe, and have a good day, night, weekend, weekday, whenever you are watching this video. Right, Shara. Later, guys. <laughs>